Bellator. The way it always gonna take place this week in Bader versus Congo too. Uh, am I looking forward to this one? Heck yeah, man. Heck yeah. And I'm gonna go through the main card, but last minute picks and the last minute changes are quite a possible. So let's go. Lawrence Larkin is uh, gonna meet Kyle Stewart. Lawrence Larkin, 23-7-0. The Monsoon, Ryan score. Uh, he is 5 foot 11, 72.5 inches of reach. Millennium MMA fighter Kung Fu. He is uh, coming out of Kung Fu, but he is uh, very much well rounded with five back to back wins over Andre Koreshko, Jan Pascu, Fernando Gonzalez, Keita Nakamura, Rafael Carvalho. Extremely durable fighter. Last loss happened to Paul Daly. Douglas Lima fought very much high level competition. Kyle, Kyle guns up Stewart 15, 5 0. Guns up Stewart riding a score of 6 0, 76 inches of reach. Arizona Combat Sports fighter. He defeated Zach Otto and John Puppy, lost to Nashon Burrell, lost to Chris Curtis. Now he's a Bellator fight while well, he is having a really, really hard opponent to deal with. He is a former UFC name, so there's a knowledge behind his belt, but I think he's very tough and very durable fighter, so I'm gonna say this fight uh, will probably go the distance. Now the Soren, the true Viking Buck, 15-1-0. For me, he is the best Norwegian MMA fighter. I know Jack Hermanson trains in Oslo ATC, but Soren Buck is irreplaceable for me. 5 foot 9 cent inches of reach. Soren Buck is... Uh, sorry, Soren Buck is the best uh, Danish MMA fighter. Sorry guys, my mistake. The best Danish MMA fighter. Because Mark Madsen is also outstanding, but for me Soren Buck is undiscovered potential. And he is only 29 years of age. He was better than Bobby Lee, Terry Brazier, Morgan Sharia, Paddy Pimblett, Alexander Jacobson, Martin Stapleton, Scott Clist. He's demolishing everybody along the way. Very well rounded fighter. Great submission game, great striking. Now gonna meet Charlie 917 Leary. 1721, 6 foot tall, 74 inches of reach. Out of Team Crossface England. The guy was having lots of ups and downs throughout his career, but he's a long time Bellator name. I mean, Victories over Tom Green, Chris Bangard, losses to Paul Redmond and Tim Wilde. And he was better than Kiefer Crosby, which was kind of a big surprise for me. Now David Gallon lost right hook. I just think Soren Buck going to be too much for him. I watched them pretty thoroughly. Unless the fight goes the distance and judges Rob Buck, I see Buck winning. So I think there is a difference between these two. Eves, you know, one duel, 16, I know, 5 foot 8, 73 inches of reach, fighting out of France. Lost to Tim Wilde, lost to Hiroto Osako, but destroyed Terry Brazier with the fly knee. This guy offers pretty much decent ground game, but his multi game is outstanding. There is only one problem with Eves, and that's the lack of lateral movements, and his footwork is kind of critical, which might be a problem against Gavin Hughes, Gavin is 10 to 0, fighting out of Liverpool, England. 5 foot 10, 69 inches of reach, and... Uh, this guy lost to Daniel Escatizi, <coughs> but he was better than Muhammad Yahya. Lost to Martin Van Steyden. Uh, I mean, EFC is okay promotion for me, but Bellator is strong. I mean, let's be honest. Out of EFC, you got few, got few good uh, good fighters. You got few good prospects, and there are there are levels to this. Uh, there are levels to this promotion. So, so I've got to say that uh, from what I've seen. I know, man. I know, I think both of these guys are kind of very well rounded. I think they are uh, hard hitters, and I don't think this will uh, last and this will last forever. Like, I don't see this going the distance, so I'm going to go with the fight not going the distance. Slightly leaning Yves Landu, that's what's going to be. But let's see, El Romero, going to fight Alex Polizzi. El Romero is the former UFC name, 6 foot 73.5 inches, ATT fighter. Three back-to-back -back losses to Paulo Costa, Israel Adesanya, Phil Davis, and uh, also lost to Robert Whittaker. He's on super cold streak after that knockout victory over uh, Hulk Rockhold. He was unable to bounce back. I don't know what happened to him. I mean, that's not the Romero that we used to see. He's 45 years old, uh, out of Coconut Creek, Florida. Gonna meet Czech Congo. No, gonna meet Alex Polizzi, sorry. I meet Alex Izzy Polizzi, 10-1-0, 6 foot 0, 72 inches of reach out of Las Vegas, Nevada. Chosen few dream, this guy choked out Gustavo Trujillo, Jose Augusto Azevedo, 
and uh, also was better than Rafael Carvalho or Jamal Pogues. Lost to Julius Anglitskas via decision. I don't see this guy finishing El Romero. Yeah, El Romero is super hard to finish. So on the other side, El Romero is a slow-paced fighter. So I'm gonna tell you, against a slow-paced fighter, no matter what you do, he will try to keep the fight slow. So this, for me, at least I expect a tactical war. Three rounds of a very slow-paced, very technical war. So fight goes the distance, gonna be my pick. And now we came to the main event of the evening, belt fight between Ryan the Darth Vader and Czech the Darkness Congo. Czech the Darkness Congo, 31, 11, 2, 46 years of age, 6 foot 4, 84 inches of reach, a kickboxer. And first fight against Ryan Bader was no contest, high poke from ground and pound. And then he lost to Tim Johnson, choked out Sergey Caritano, was better than Vitaly Minakov in a very doubtful fight. I was thinking that Minakov won that fight. Lost to Tim Johnson, lost to Javier Yalo, I mean defeated Tim Johnson, Javier Yalo, Augusto Sakai, Oli Thompson. This guy fights better than he used to fight 10 years ago, can you believe it? Rand Dart Bader, 38 years of age, 6 foot 2, 74 inches of reach, 10 inch of reach advantage on the end of Czech Congo. Bader lost to John Castaneda, uh, Bader. Bader also was having a hard time against many high level against uh, many high-level athletes. I mean, Ryan Dart Bader competed, uh, competed in Bellator against very, very high-level names. And he even won the title. So, you know, when it comes to Ryan Bader, I'm pretty much sure he could, he could give uh, Chuck Congo a hard time. Victory over Valentin Moldavski, victory over Leoto Machida, lost to Corey Anderson, lost to Vadim Nemkov. Also was better than Fedor Emelianenko, Matt Mitrioni, Mohamed Laval, Inton Vassel. I mean, he is a heck of a wrestler, which might be a problem to his opponent. On the other side, if Czech Congo keeps the fight standing, it might go all the way. But uh, I'm really wondering, man. Either uh, Ryan Bader going to knock him out cold early on. Either we're going to see a tactical fight where Czech Congo might be switching, where Czech Congo might be swinging the hammer. So. I'm really having a dilemma on this one. For the first time, I was uh, having I was having a dilemma for the first time, uh, which way might this go? But nowadays, let me say, check Congo. Let me say, check Congo to win uh, this one. If I must pick a side, I'm gonna say fight starts round three for this one. So yeah, fight starts round three is gonna be my pick. And guys, wish you a lot of luck in uh, this uh, competition, in this combat. I do wish you a lot of luck and have a great day everyone and let's enjoy!